Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. In this video, we'll give a quick demonstration of using Resource Manager to cancel a long running SQL statement. Resource Manager is an Enterprise Edition feature that allows us to control the resources used by a session when the system is under load. We create a resource plan with consumer groups. Plan directives define the resources available to sessions with that consumer group. The consumer groups can also define the action taken if a trigger threshold has been reached. Oracle 8i allowed us to manually switch consumer groups for a session. Oracle 9i introduced automatic consumer group switching when a threshold was reached. Oracle 10g introduced the ability to cancel an SQL statement or kill the session if the threshold was reached. Oracle 11g introduced IO thresholds for switching consumer groups. Oracle 12c introduced additional thresholds and rebranded this functionality as runaway query management. Resource Manager has a lot of functionality and defining resource plans can be complicated. Rather than trying to cover too much, we'll just take a look at a simple example of cancelling a runaway query. These are the current parameters related to consumer group switching. The switch group parameter defines the action to take if a threshold is crossed. In this example, we'll use cancel SQL to stop the execution of the current call. As you can see, there are a number of different thresholds we could define, but we'll use the switch time parameter to define the maximum CPU time threshold. We connect to a privileged user and create a test user called test user1. We grant it the create session and create procedure privileges. We need to create a new resource plan. Resource plans are managed using the DBMS resource manager package. Resource plans are created in a pending area prior to being validated and submitted. We clear any existing pending areas, then create a new one. We create a plan called long running query plan. We create a consumer group called normal CG. We create a plan directive allowing it 100% of the top level resources. We have a switch group of cancel SQL with the switch time of 60. This means any call that consumes 60 seconds of CPU time will be cancelled. We create a plan directive for the others group. It has 100% of the second level resources. This will be used for any user session that doesn't have a consumer group assigned. If the system is under pressure, sessions with the normal consumer group will take priority over sessions with the others consumer group. We validate the pending area, then submit it. The grant switch consumer group procedure allows the normal consumer group to be assigned to the test user. The set initial consumer group procedure makes it the default for this user. We could have achieved a similar result using the set consumer group mapping procedure. We enable the resource plan by setting the resource manager plan initialization parameter. We connect to the test user. We need an SQL statement that will use a lot of CPU, so we create a function called burn CPU. This accepts a parameter that indicates how many minutes it should use CPU for. It then loops for that number of minutes performing a simple mathematical operation. We could use some PLSQL to call the function, but instead we put the function call into a query, telling it to burn CPU for 5 minutes. After approximately 60 seconds, we see an error telling us the active time limit was exceeded. Clearly this was a simple example, but it gives you an idea of how you can protect your system from a runaway session that's soaking up all the system resources. In this case we cancelled the SQL statement, but we could have switched it to a consumer group with a low priority, allowing other sessions to get priority access to resources over it. To clean up this example, we connect to the privileged user, set the resource manager plan parameter to null, then delete the resource plan using the delete plan cascade procedure. Oracle 19c introduced SQL quarantine 
to stop problem statements being run repeatedly, but we'll cover that in another video. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.